Welcome to our special episode where we uncover the secrets of Sam Karanke Ankar's royal house with Derek Joe Hagen. Derek Joe Hagen takes us on a journey through the rich history and traditions of this royal lineage. As we explore the intricate details of the royal house, we learn about the. All of a sudden. That that that's what made you made it different. Yes. Mm. That was what made it different. I said, "Wow, I've never had such an experience before." But how did you find yourself in such an environment? Uh, because, because the last time I checked, yes. you are a reverend minister. That's right. Of the Church of Christ. That's right. I mean, Christendom. That's right. And we are also being demonized and yes. set aside as the devil's incarnate and yes. all of that. So how did you find yourself because, here? Like, uh, I'm I trying have to now understand. come to realize that those moments and days were period of stupidity and ignorance on our side. Wait, wait, am I hearing right? Yes, stupidity and ignorance, we didn't know. You have started a lot of you things. Guys, we branded you guys demonic, but it wasn't true. Hey, Reverend. Yes, it wasn't true. We branded you guys demonic because our own people are involved in some of these things. And we didn't know. Reverend, this yes. thing you are saying. Yes, hey. I mean what I'm saying. I because I'm the saying. last time I checked, we are the children of the devil. Yes. And... You are the children of the light. Yes. And Jesus is to send you to heaven. Yes. And Satan is sending us to hell. Uh, uh, the heaven is what I experienced yesterday. Not, ah, not, that's heaven. That's the heaven, heaven. There's no heaven anywhere. The one I experienced yesterday was heaven. This is heaven. That is heaven. The GA experience is heaven. GA experience, and that's the one we used to be talking about. Those days of stupidity and ignorance must be broken. Are you under the influence of anything? I'm not under the influence of anything. No, so I'm you. you Really, this is reality. But you're a Reverend Minister. Yes, I am. I know. I agree. I hey. agree. Just you, just in case they don't know who you are, can yes. you introduce yourself? Well, my name is Derek Joe Egan. Others mm. call me mm. Reverend Derek Joe Egan. I'm also being referred to at other places as Apostle Derek Joe Egan. I've yeah. been in ministry for over 40 years. Wow. For over 40 years. Over 40 years? Over four, I've started so many churches. Over 40 years. So many churches in Ghana and Accra, they know me because I started Apostolic Churches, Royal House. Wait, wait, churches. wait. Yes. Royal what? Royal House Chapel. Hey, is this a setup? No, it's You already know my standard. Royal House <laughs> Chapel, Royal House Chapel was nowhere near any other church. You know, uh, 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 in those days, I was mm. leading prayer, worship, praise, mm. and preach at the same time. Mm. And there was this guy who came to the church, Black mm. Mom. Mm. Blackmore offered us his place at uh, uh, Silver Cup. Mm. Yeah, after prayer, I introduced, I just mentioned that we needed a place. Then after church, he called me. So Blackmore bears my name, Derek. Mm. And the spelling is the same, D-E-R-E-K. That is how I spell my Derek. Mm. So we went to the place. The place could swallow us because we were less than 300. But we said, we're interested. Hey, you are speaking history. We're interested. We're inter I'm saying nobody in Royal House knows what I know. The, because everybody came to meet me in the right house. Everybody wow. came to meet me in the church. There's Wait, no I, I didn't person. know you anywhere, right? No, you didn't know me anywhere. You, you, no, you didn't know me here. So I'm not forcing you no, to say No, I'm that not this. being influenced. I'm saying it as it is. I'm speaking the truth. I'm saying as it is. Wow. And that's the reality. Yes, Abandoned Life Mission was what we started with. Then became Bible Worship Center. Which then, year was this? That was 88. 1888. 1988. He was in Ghana. Oh, 1988. Ankara was not in Ghana. He was in Holland. 1988. I'm sure most of the people that will be passing comments in the comment section were not even born. Oh, they were not even born. They were not even there. <laughs> oh, they were not there. They, were not, they don't know anything about the history of the church. They don't wow. know anything about the history of the church. They just come on social media and come and just lambast and attack people. I'm not bothered. Mm. I'm insulated. I'm not bothered because there is the truth. Mm. And there are men of God, so-called men of, in Ghana, who know this truth. Because when Ankara came from Holland, I took him round. Wait, which Ankara are we talking about? I'm talking about some Ankara. Apostle General. Because we saw Apostle General, which is not in scripture. <laughs> There's no way in scripture that makes somebody an Apostle General. Apostle General is not scripture. It's not scripture. It's not, it's not the scripture about Apostle hey, General. I Show me, if you could just quote one scripture. Because wow. he criticized Bishop Rick. He decided not to go for our... Uh, a bishop, then he went for apostle general, so he's a general of all apostles. That's even questionable. That's even questionable. That's even questionable. That's even questionable. So, so you know so, things nobody knows. What I know about Ankara, nobody knows. 
what I know about Ankara, I say nobody knows. Mm. What I know about this guy, and there's no one person on this earth who can tell me he knows Ankara more than me. We exchanged dresses together. Wow. We slept in classrooms together. We wow. preached together. Those days, I was a toast of everybody. I knew everybody's name. Mm. And I was the only person who was contacted. Anytime they needed somebody. And it's on mm. record. You can tell, ask anybody. Uh, anytime they needed somebody, it was me, they would contact first. Mm. Hey, you can, do you know this person? Now, wow. Now, provide it. Yeah, information. So because you are the one they will come to before they I'll get him. Oh, before they even cry, cry. He, he himself will even contact me. He himself will even contact me. There were times, any time uh, there was a foreign preacher who came to the church. Mm. I was the only person he referred to as foreign minister saying that they, I preach like him. Me, I don't preach like him. He said this. Are you sure I don't preach like him? I don't preach like him. No, no, no. I don't preach like him. He's only been shouting, yo, yo, money, money. Those kind of, I don't preach like him. I don't preach like him. I have my different life. And you've been doing the pastoral work for over 40 years? Over 40 years. Over 40 years. And he said, well, I taught his wife how to preach. Well, hey, yeah, dropping bombs. You, you taught, taught his wife how to Aunt preach. Reta Crunchy Ankara. I taught her how to preach. I will put a signboard there with a, a felt pen and teach her categorically from scripture to scripture. To but play around. I don't know if you know, but you know there's an issue between... Uh, that I raised up, that he did, that I said I would never comment about it. So right. I've never spoken about it right. because we are doing it behind the scenes right. work right. And, and Ghana will know. Right. But this would sound like because of what is happening, mm. that is why we've willed you in no, to come no, and talk no. about No, I him. came on my own. When I came, I told you mm. that I know that story. It mm. was that story that brought me here. Mm. I know Susan. Susan mm. knows me very well. Mm. They all came to meet me in the church. Mm. I'm saying every single person came to meet me in the church. Mm. And I was there when I, when Hima was born. Nana Hima, I was born. Was mm. born. So I came to mention the name to you that you are referring to Nana Hima. Mm. You didn't go deep. No, I didn't I, go into details. Yes, I was going into details. Mm. Nana Hima, yes. Maybe he will, he will see me today and not make me, but I can make it out. Because I know her. And you know the story. I know the story. I know the cars that Ankara, uh, Susan bought for Ankara. I know everything. So the things I was saying in the video, I wasn't making it up. No, 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 no. You're making sense. You are speaking the truth. Because I, I don't know him from anywhere. At a point in time, when Susan was in crisis, Ankara had to call the police to come and arrest him. Collapse his work. I was wait, 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 wait. I didn't even yes. know about this story. Yes, yes. You can ask Susan. He called the police. Police on him. On her, sorry. To come and arrest my mother. Yes. And they arrested her after having done so much for Ankara. I said, this guy, this guy, he won't go far. This guy, this guy. He thought he had bought our destinies. And was riding over our destiny. What do you mean he thought he had bought your destiny? Because with me, I, I realized that at any point in time, everything I did, my church members even realized that he would come in dreams and vision. They will see him in vision, driving a mess away. But those days, he will come to your church and drive yes, a mess away. Yes, in church a dream and vision. Me, Bonnie, Bonnie told me, Fred told me, Fred even told me there was this girl uh, um, that he came to sleep with at. Um, Uwe. Labadi, Labadi, um, who comes to sleep with? Fred told me personally that uh, he has a cousin who works at Labadi Hotel, uh, La, La Palm. La Palm Beach Resort. That he has a special hotel that Anka comes there. He goes there? He goes there to sleep with a lady. Are we I, talking about the same uh, Apostle General? I'm talking about, I don't call him Apostle General because he's not Apostle General to me. I suspended him several times. He'll come to my house hey. and come and cry. <laughs> If you don't restore me, one Mr. Opoku, Opoku Skyhorse offered me his house. His house. That in the, on the events that Ankara misbehaves, he will hand over the house to me. In less than two You discipline him? Yes. In less than two Ankara insulted the man, the man left the church. The same man he the said? The same man who promised his, um, uh, uh, his burden, his house to me, to donate his house to me. Ankara insulted him. But why were you disciplining him? Come again. Why did you discipline him? I disciplined him because of, his, number one, his utterances. He speaks anyhow, gibberish. But he's a pastor. Pastor? I don't see him as a pastor. Hey. There was this guy called uh, uh, Bishop Tete. Mm. Bishop Tete called me and said, Oh, brother, or home, your brother is worried. I said, what is it? He comes to my place, 2 o'clock, midnight, show me the power. I need more power. Which part of power is in Jesus? No, 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 no. Forget about it. 
After they the Holy Ghost, Jesus, when, when the Holy Ghost comes, when they only mention Jesus uh, to, as a cover up, but there was something behind. Wait, so he's covering up? He's covering up. He's all co covering hey. up. But those things we didn't know. I have confronted Ankara on several issues, having drunk, smoked. Also, and he, so I was became, Wait, I became, are you talking about before? Because we all used to drink before. We, no, I'm talking about when he was a pastor. You see, what happened was that uh, those days, media wasn't that powerful. Mm. Everything that people accused Obeim of, people referred to Ankara as the God. People prayed in the name of the God of Ankara. And it was all engineered by Esilfi, Joseph Esilfi. People, mm. I mean, even he connected the brother of Jesus to Ankara. People were just praying. Yes, I prayed wow. and I called upon the God of Ankara. Yes, and, and, and I beat somebody. And these things were all happening. He he wiped his face with a hanky and, sp and spread it on the face of somebody. And there was this guy, one Mr. Sign, who was in the church, who called me and said, I've been here in a court. This one is a court. I Wait, he, Mr. Osei was saying this is a court. Yes, this is a court. So I confronted Ankara. So that was why I became a target. Oh. He wanted to eliminate me. So you guys are not cool anymore? No, 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 no not at all. Not but at is all. it not why you've come here? I That's mean, why I've come here. Okay, you didn't come here to actually talk about this. When I you... saw the video, I said, no. It's, a, it's an opportunity for me to come and clarify issue because I was there from the genesis of the church. He knows nothing about the beginning of the church. He knows not, practically nothing. Wow. Practically nothing. Abandoned life missions. He knows, it was one pastor, uh, Sakara and myself, who started it. So you started literally. I am the founder of the church. She doesn't know anything about. But I heard somewhere that the wife is the founder. No, my friend, forget about the wife. Forget the wife was working at bank for house and construction. Mm. Clo she closes at seven, ten, eight o'clock. Mm. I was teaching her how to preach. How could she? Be? And she mentioned she said this in Tema, the mm. branch, the first branch of royal houses that opened. Mm. She kept so the members they are aware. Mm. She said it that I taught her how to preach. Mm. I'm not fabricating. She said and the members are aware. Mm. The wife was working at the bank for housing and construction. Mm. She closes around 7, 10. She was a teller. Mm. She didn't even have time to come. She wasn't even a pastor at the time. So how could she have started the church? Oh, so she didn't start the church? No, no, no. From where? From so where? you started it? I started it. So how did it take over? You, you handed it over I to hand, him? What happened was that we're exchanging letters. We're exchanging letters. He says, when in he Ghana? comes to Ghana. No, he was in Holland. Oh, so he wasn't in Ghana? He was in Ghana. Your guy was in Ghana. Oh. He didn't know what he was coming to do in Ghana. There were two things he put out. He wanted to be a businessman or a politician. A politician? A, that was what he wanted to be. And I mm -hmm. said, no. Ministry is there. We've made it. We are making the members are coming. We have over 200 members, full set of instruments. He gave me a lot of promises. I'm buying this for you. I'm saying he came with practically nothing. He came to Ghana? Practically, not even a microphone. But were you friends before he left Ghana? Oh, yes. What happened was we had a fellowship called Lovers of Christ Evangelistic Ministry. Mm. It was during that fellowship that he committed that abortion hey. with Adelaide. With who? Adelaide Bedi. I'm saying, I know what Ankara, people don't know about Ankara. He committed abortion when at yes. the fellowship? At uh, uh, this place, um, uh, Kumuji, uh, Kumuji uh, Hospital. Hey. Kumuji Listen, Hospital. What we I have know, no idea nobody about this in the bro. church knows about this this who is not us doing this so you know who who, who blew this one there was this one pastor called francis francis okay went and met them at kumuji and blew it out he told me we started man oh went to meet them committing abortion yes but i thought the church is against abortion no he is not against he can do it at his wall and at any given time wait you're making it sound like he's done multiple oh it's not only one it's not me, one. From you know, when he left, we used to be in the fellowship called Lovers of Christ Evangelistic Ministry before showers of blessing. Mm. He was sacked when the church. Wait, went, he was sacked. He was he were all employed in a church called Living Word Chapel. Mm. He was sacked, and I wasn't sacked. The elders took me to a pastor who wanted me to marry a woman. I said, I will not marry her today. He said, The pastor says the God says I should marry. I said, Me, God hasn't spoken to me, so I'm not marrying her. Mm. So we fell out. Mm. And the others were disappointed. I said, why? Why? And those days, I was the only person who could. I, I would be able to see what is in your pocket and mention it. 
mm. be it money, whatever. I'm That's tell you, word of knowledge. Word of knowledge. It was there. So that people call prophetic today. It is not prophetic. Word of knowledge, word of wisdom, word and uh, descend of spirits. Mm. Those it was so. I mean, we we're operating it. And everybody knows me about knows that that is what I operated. Everybody. Reverend Egan. Reverend Egan. Everybody knows that that is my field. And I was an evangelist. I could, an avowed evangelist. I could do. Me, when I target you, I need you here. You can, you, you can refuse anybody but me. No way. So wait, did you target us that you need us to no. speak? No. I mean, when I saw the video mm. about Susan, I said, no, this is the time for, for me to come. My spirit moved inside me. I said, no. But you I saw we were at the shrine. I need to. No, you were at the shrine. And you didn't mind. But they go to the shrine. Who? Ankara, all of the old table, um, uh, they all go to shine. Hey. Me, I can say things, though. I can say Father. things. Father. <laughs> they all go to shine. They only pretend. They all, they all go to the shine. Nobody builds a church. Before you build, you get more than five hundred members. You should have sacrificed a human being. Wait, wait. A human wait. being, more than five hundred members. I'm talking. About, I'm not saying more than five thousand. More than five. You should sacrifice a human being. 500. So this, yes, with this noise they are making, I know. I know just that I didn't have the opportunity. And, and, and in those days, I frown at going to such places. Mm. But when uh, 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 the expose about uh, Nana Hima came, mm. I, there was, I was resonated. I said, no, it's the time. It's time. You know you are the one mentioning names. Even in the video, we didn't mention names. Uh, yes, I, I, mentioned, I mentioned names because I know him so much. Mm. And charismatism in Ghana. Mm. I know so much about charismatism in Ghana. Mm. You see, they are calling me. Mm. Can when, we when, 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 they called, when I went there, there were over uh, uh, 20, uh, 200 calls. Meanwhile, when I was in my difficulty, nobody called me. When you went to heaven, yes. When you had to wear heaven last yes. night, yes. they were calling you. Calling me. No, I when came. you were in, you yes. were saying you receive a lot of calls yes. in the morning. I mentioned it, I receive a lot. And true, true, when I go, the, I had diverted my call to one MTN number, mm. and they had called a lot of them. Ah, but responded. how did they know you were in, in the rooms last night? They, they got to know because for some time now, I have told them I will expose. Oh. It is time, oh, yes. For some time now, I have told them I got exposed because I can't use my blood to toy, build a church for somebody to enjoy. It's not done that so, way. I mean, well, so, somebody will say you are saying this out of. Out of envy, pain out or of envy. hurt, out of betrayal. Yeah. So if he didn't take the church from you, you wouldn't mm. have said anything. Somebody mm. will say this. Yes, um, um, it, it is not true. This one is not true because if he did things right after taking the church from after handing over the church to him, I wouldn't have spoken. If he did but, things right. Yeah, but he was still destroying my life uh, through accident. Wait, how is he destroying your life? Through accident. How? Black, black but he wasn't the one driving. He wasn't the driver. But uh, the father here wasn't the one. Any time, most of the accident I had, I saw his face, physically, hey. struggling with me on the steering. One of them, he, one of his uh, armor bearers, Rodney, who was now a pastor in the church, so appeared, went and told him I had died. So he was going to announce that his bitterest oh, enemy. They had told died. you. They yes. told him that you had died. I had died. He was going to announce so it in the church. So when he heard, he said, "Praise God, I have finished him." This is the way he was pacing up and down, sweating in an air conditioning room. I have finished him. I just you mean you? And he's finished me. And he's my, praising God that he's finished yes. you. And he handed, uh, handed over my body to Satan. He has finished. Praise God. Well, Mr. Salam, but what did you do to him? I don't know what I've done. You put on a dress. He says you are dressing better. That it's a sin to dress better than ah. than you. It's a sin pastor. for you to dress better. Yes. So you have to dress worse than him. Worse than him. And that's righteousness. And that's righteousness. And he hated it. I mean, I left the church a long time ago. So. He hated it. <laughs> you were in Ferguson Lane's church. No, Ferguson Lane, yes. uh, the late Bishop Ferguson Lane, yes. was a friend to my bishop, Bishop Reginald of Chumesi. Chumesi, yes, Chumesi. It's Chumesi that was things yeah, that yeah. Ferguson Lane was planted, uh, they planted women into his life. No, because I knew, yes. I had the issue of William him had and to women. Bring him down to Ghana. I know much about Carlos Martin. No, I, I know he wasn't in Ghana. He lived a lot outside. Yeah, in the, outside. In the but US. In his prior crisis, Otabel, Mensa Otabel, took advantage of his crisis. And Takwali Branch was started, uh, started from um, uh, Ferguson, Ferguson, Ferguson Lane. Lane's church. He died, he died a very sad death. Yes. I remember. Ferguson Lane. Bleh.
Yeah, yeah. He, Blair. No, no, like, no, he was, he was super learned, charismatic. Uh, he had charisma. He would preach and everybody would follow. Oh, yes. Uh, oh, yes. He, he, and and, and, and I, I remember him because he used to preach and I, I used to get confused because I thought it was Bishop Eddie Long. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you know Bishop, yeah, exactly. Tonation. You would think it's Bishop Eddie yeah, Long, Long preaching. Because of his donation. Our bishop brought him to Ghana, uh, Accra, for about two years mm. just to cool him down because Otabel had, 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 had messed him up. Otabel, Papon, and uh, Obindakon. And that was their modus of operandi. Hey, but all these names you have mentioned, what, yeah. what if they come for you? Come for me? Mm. I was still say I, I was stunned at where I'm seeing. Because it's the truth. Those days, the, the media wasn't that powerful. There, was, mm. there were no phones. Mm. Phones, but uh, there was. I had this friend who was into more of the new. Then he called us, go to Upper House. Mm. I w went to Upper House and about 20 buses line up. Mm. Yes, they line up about seven ladies accusing um, Ino Kabozo of having slept with them on the motorway. How? And they took over his church. Wow. To start Central Gospel Church. Wait, wait. Uh, Central Gospel is which one? ICGC. ICGC. IC oh, so you're still talking about men's table? ICGC. That's what I know. I'm talking about. I'm just ICGC. Are, are you sure? God, Jehovah is my witness. I'm, we went there. Then we saw a Fidi Kadochi. Physically, it happened. He did the same thing to uh, uh, Ferguson Lane in Takwa to start Central Gospel Church. He did the same thing to Takwa. Takwa, and a pastor he put in charge of there was Osabote. Finally, Osabote even had to depart, he had to die. Wow. So most of the branches of Central Gospel Witches has been breaking other people's churches to start afresh all over. He, he accused him pastors of having fornicated, baptized. I, I, I don't really know much about him, so let's come back. To I know us. so much about him. <laughs> we're, we're meeting at a Kanda, Kanda, Kanda school, cluster of schools. Mm. That's what we're meeting. Mm. When we met a kind of class of, he was living at Nima mm. with Prophet Anno and the rest. Mm. Later with Ampia Kofi. I know so much about him. We offered him a cry school to start his church. He doesn't even mention that. Wow. He doesn't even mention a cry school to mention that. He doesn't even mention every charismatic church in Ghana has passed through a cry school. Wow. Be it Victory Bible Church, Grace Atri Church, Central God, they all passed through a cry school. They all passed through a cry. We offered him the place. So, those days I was a voice to reckon with. There were so, what, what happened? Like, I want to understand because if you were such a high profile, yeah. let, let, let the tea is here. Let's enjoy the tea. All right. <laughs> the, the, this is uh, Nananum's tea. <laughs> this is Nananum's tea. This is Sacred tea. Yeah. So, I want, I, want, I want to give you a Sacred tea. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Reverend, pour for me. We have a lot of Reverend Ministers here. Yes. It's a lot too, so that everybody can yes. get some. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. In those days, you, you should bring the second one, huh? You should bring the second one. Mm. You don't just call yourself a prophet. You begin as an evangelist, as a brother. Mm. You graduate to an evangelist. From an evangelist, then you are mm. inducted into the office of a pastor. Mm. Paul, From a pastor, you become a reverend minister. No, no. Paul. Then you go to an apostle. These days, you, the people just wake up and I'm a, I'm a prophet. Just one dream, yeah. I'm a prophet. So I adopted it. Let's talk about our main man. All right. Uh, apostle General. Yeah. <laughs> Sam Kanchanka. Yes. Because uh, you have mentioned names. Yes. And you have confirmed yes. the stories that I was talking about. Yeah, that's true. Because people thought I was making it up. No, no. And people no. thought I was lying. I was there. All the cars that Susan gave to Ankara, I was there. But here's the thing. If yes. you were such a high profile, yes. what happened? What happened? Because you have handed over your destiny to somebody. How did you hand over your destiny to You me? hand over a church to somebody who says he, he doesn't want to be a pastor. Oh. He doesn't want to be, he wants to be entered into business or politics. But why did you hand it over? Uh -huh. I this way. We saw ourselves as brothers. As brothers. I never ever thought that he had evil intentions against me. 
Mm. But the day he said... So it was that like a Jacob Esau situation? Yes. The day he said, every pastor that comes to the church from outside says, I mm. preach like him, then I sat down and said, no, I have to be careful mm. about his utterances and whatever. Mm. Then when he, he continued by saying, this, uh, if I dress better than him, to say sin, I said, no, mm. I have to wake up. Because mm. I don't know what is going on. I saw him as a brother helping you and your wife. You saw me as an enemy destroying my so life. So when he took me. over the church, what was your position in the church? Oh, um, when he took over, I think I was an assistant pastor. Mm. Because I was in charge of everything. No. I'll do worship. I'll do intercession. Mm. I'll have an ekonka, ekonka in front of me. Mm. Do worship. Mm. Do praise. The day I'm supposed to preach. Mm. I remember one day I preached a message. He came and asked, are you sure you're the one who prepared it? I said, I prepared it. Mm. Because they've been adopting people's messages. So he was surprised I prepared that message. Mm. Uh, because those days I was so, so spiritual and so-called spiritual in quotes. And, brand, and, 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 and I, oh, I didn't even have so much. Those days I didn't even have um, uh, tips and whatever. Mm. And I, whenever I walk in town, walk through town and I see, I was preparing my messages through messages I saw on cars. Mm vehicles moving around i was preparing my message through that one of the days i you show you preach i said i oh, prepared why oh, didn't i prepare this man i prepared that message he was surprised mm. i delivered that message then that's where the envy started so, so you mean he envied you he, no as for envy or envied you he envied me number one yeah he but took, people say he, made, he uh, has much more money than you why would he no envy no, you? no 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 the point is you have more money than me but you know my destiny mm. So you thrive on my destiny. So I'm how was he trying to get the accidents to happen? Like I'm trying, I'm interested. Well, 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 what I'm saying is that all the accidents I had, some of them I had, I saw his picture physically attacking me uh, 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 with a steering. Mm. Struggling mm. with me on the steering. Mm. I said, no, I, don't, I have to be mm. careful about this guy. Mm. And those, every accident was happening in September. Mm. September. All the, the accidents was happening in September. September. My, the, all, every accident I had on the motorway mm. was in September. September. The last accident I ever had, that was the eighth one, was in 2019. And I didn't know what to do about it. I was confused because I meant good for this guy. And this guy was, they wanted just to eliminate me and kill me from this one. I didn't understand. When you met me at saying, you talk about a story that, um, what do you call it? You... Trying to, you said you had gone to the U.S. branch. Yes. And uh, he lied to me that he had a branch, but when I went there, there was no branch. He didn't the have North a... American branch that is thriving now. I started it from uh, Connecticut. When I went there, uh, the lady I went to reside with, one Angie, a Jamaican, told me the Isufi slept with her. Uh, Wait, Shamo, the Reverend Isufi. Isufi Shamo Abe. Slept with her. And then Sufi branded me as a fornicator to Ankara. So Ankara called me and said, I shouldn't go and sleep with a girl. I called a Sufi one time and I said to my where well, I was residing in far far rock away in New York. I said, hey, Sufi, you, you were nobody. We made you a pastor. Mm. You, you, you didn't even have a best man for your wedding. I volunteered to help you. You mm. came to this church practically as a beggar. Now you are destroying, damaging me to Ankara. Mm. I'm God furious. Now I said, if he plays, if I will shoot him. Well, I use that word. He you said you were going to shoot him. I will shoot him. He was scared. He but away. did you sleep with anybody? Over there? Mm. No. Because they had slept with a lady. Mm. And they thought I was also going to sleep with her, Angie. But if you're accusing uh -huh. uh, Apostle General for sleeping around and committing abortions, yeah. then I'm wondering... Did you also do the same? Yes. I, what happened was that he pl she planted a woman into my life, Irene. He I planted a woman in your into life? Into my life, Irene. How? One Pasopoku. Pasopoku confessed before he died. Irene wow. also confessed. Irene is alive. They met, Irene met me and I was begging. Because I knew that so was, much about her. She was planted? Uncle. Yes, she was planted. She told me she was planted. To, to sleep? To my life. To sleep with me. And I, Irene told me she was pregnant. It doesn't sound like a movie. Like, <laughs> Irene listen told to me, this, hearing men of God, pastors... Yes. But these are the if mafias. If you know the this things they do, Jesus Christ. If you know the things they do behind the scenes. Because when I started, right, people thought I was looking for fame, 
or I was trying to get known. I was I'm like, please get out of here. <laughs> like, <laughs> we're good. <laughs> whatever it is, we, whatever little thing we have, whatever we're good. Whatever pain and cross cause to people, he must pay for. He must Wait, so it's not just you? It's not just me. There was this Sakara, I started a church with Sakara's wife was turning the motorway mm. and he was, a car knocked her down. She was, he was happy. Wait, wait, the pastor was happy that a car... Ankara, not pastor, Ankara was happy that a car oh, knocked you don't want, you don't want me to call, call him a pastor? Come again. You don't want me to call him a no, pastor? No, I don't want to, I don't see him as a pastor. But he was happy the woman died? He was happy. And not only uh, Sakara's wife. So many, there are so many instances. So many, let me tell you. All the ladies Ankara worked with, Anshali, Patricia Dazi, Louis Baini, none of them is married. Wait, when, when you say work with, what do you mean? Like work with to, to, to the church or work with to raise a church or build a church? Build a church. And me, I suspect that he had an affair with them. Because recently, one now that's lady... That's your suspicion. It's not factual. It's not factual. But one lady just told me, at the time, Anka was so close to her, he proposed to her. And that lady was not uh, married. Ran he, he proposed to the lady? Yes. That lady was not married. But was he married then? No, she wasn't married then. He wasn't married then. To today, she, that lady No, was he... Yeah, Anka was married to Rita. Mm. Anka was married to Rita. Rita. But how are the, all these going on in the churches? No, they go on because people started... I mean, I mean, trusted the pastor so much that they were sacrosanct and holy. They couldn't do evil. Would you have done the same? Like? Like sleep around, plant no, evil, plot no. no, I wouldn't have done the same because I stood for righteousness. I stood for And he knows it. There were times people, uh, excuse me to say, even Muslims, he would help them travel and I would speak against it. Why? When uh, there are poor people in the church, I expect him to help. He wouldn't do it. I was the only person who would speak out. So now I'm understanding. He hated you because you could confront him. Because I could confront him. That was the only issue. So the lady he made you sleep with, was it in Ghana? Or? Ghana, Irene. She's still alive. I don't know if she's still alive, but she's still, I'm sure she's still alive. In Ghana, in Ghana right here. So you didn't enjoy it? I didn't enjoy it. No, it wasn't something I had planned to do. Mm. But she knew what she was doing. Mm. Later, she, she met me. I was just walking in town. She, Irene met me. No, no, I'm begging. Mm. He said, Pastor Poki knows what happened. Ankara but knows all me. these names you mentioned, what if they come for you? They come for me. I'll that say it as it is. What if they drag they you to court? They can't come because they know that's the truth. I, all my life, I've been that type of person who is very frank and bold. Mm. I'll say it as it is. They know. They all know. Ankara himself knows. So why do, you want, why do you want to say all these things to me? I'm saying all these things for people to be aware that all that glitters is not good. Yeah, but why don't you go to the Christian council or the church leaders, the church elders? Why are you coming? Yeah, I'm, a I'm, I'm, I'm at a bulldog. Christian council. What have they been able to, to implement and achieve in mm. Ghana? Show me one. Obinim was messing up. Paying tight to Ajansari. Wait, wait, what? Paying tight to Ajansari in sacks. Who? Obinim, Obinim. But he doesn't attend his church. He said, no, Obinim took uh, Ajansar as his father. Wait, who, who don't you know about in the Christendom? I know everybody. And these are factuals? These are factuals. I know everybody. And I know how, when they started. Because at that time I was preaching. Moving from back. I used so to you are it, saying, yes. the only reason why you didn't become a big shot is because you didn't go the way they went. I didn't go the way they went because I always spoke for the, uh, stood for the truth. And you're saying that if you don't sacrifice a human being, you won't get a congregation more than 500. You you won't get more than 500. I use because this maybe this is just some people, not all pastors. Every pastor in this world, not only in Ghana, you should sacrifice a human being to be able to get more than 500 members. Ah, is it? Is it it's a charade. Christ the name is a charade. They mention Jesus Christ and whatever, but they know what is behind. So what are you now? Are you not still a reverend minister? I'm still a reverend minister. So whose name do you pray to? I pray to the name of Jesus now. I pray to the name of Onyamikesi. Because they were <laughs> deceiving us. Wait, but hold on. Onyamikesi is my guy. Yes. <laughs> that was the reason why I was motivated to come here. 
Because, because I'm now so introducing Oyamikasi. Because Oyamikasi. I am no, no so much about the charismatic church in Ghana. But no, is not taught, Jesus. We are taught that you die and go to heaven. But now we are hearing that you can go to heaven when you are not even dead. And go and see big, big cars there. <laughs> Cadillac, not cheap cars and not not and not tickle. in big heaven. Cars in but heaven. We, you went to heaven last night. Did you see I any went car? To heaven. I didn't see any car there. I didn't see any car there. There's no car in heaven. I didn't see any car. Now I'm so solidified that I don't fear who take. I don't fear anything. Were you surprised that I came out to say the things that I said? No, I wasn't surprised because they must be said. I was not surprised. They must be. This is the opportune time. This is the time. The curious moment. That these things must come out. But people were saying that, oh, don't do this. These people, I know them, they will come for you. I know, they they, me, you. myself, I know they will come for me. They've come for me several times. <laughs> Even those days that when I wasn't fortified, they came for me, they didn't, ever, they didn't succeed. When I was running church in Tema, Anka came with his armor bearers and security guards. Wait, wait, what? With pistols. Po, 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 po. Uh, people, all oh, the neighboring, uh, uh, there was a uh, Baptist church around. They also said, oh, what is this? Uh, what is this? A band of gold. So you think it's because of fear, that's why people are not speaking up? It is fear, because when you speak, they'll kill you. They'll, kill, they'll eliminate you. Oh. They will eliminate that's you. That's why people are afraid for me. Yes, they will eliminate you. Uh, there are uh, pastors uh, who are involved <laughs> in, uh, in selling uh, 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 um, cigarettes. They have who own uh, um, alcoholic beverages in Ghana. They are pastors. When media men start to publish them, then the politicians will go behind. He's my pastor. Leave him alone. Oh. Leave him alone. So you think that's why we... No, because let me be honest, right? I didn't come for anybody. I don't, yes. I don't really care about anybody. Me, I only saw the video once. It was a, it's a son of mine. God has used me in making a lot of sons in the world. And one of them in South Africa mm. was the who sent the video to me. The moment I watched it, I said, I'll come here. Yeah, because time. I don't have anything against him. What yes. the injustice he did to my sister, yes. and the fact that we <laughs> tried to contact. And you confirm your sister knows me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know when you came, I called. Yes. I called her. I'm not telling. I called lies. my mother. I was in a church when Susan came, mm. so I know her. I was mm. in a church when she gave birth to Ahima, so I know her. Mm. I was in the church when she was playing with Bebina, so I know her. So it resonated hey. with what you were saying. Mm. Yes. yes. Well, people didn't know how factual yes. what I was saying was. Yes. People thought I was just making it up. But I made, well, I went deeper and deeper and deeper. When I came here, I told you myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I told you that I know Susan. So now what do you want to do? I w what I want to do, I want to propagate the truth. What's the truth? The truth is about Onyamekasi, Onyamekasi. Hey, relax. And that's the truth. <laughs> the, that is the truth because it's been hidden for far too long. And pastors have been hiding behind the scene. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Pa! Receive! Receive! They're all lives. Okay, let me ask you something. You, you, you've been in ministry for 40 years, right? Over 40. Over 40. Years. Over 40 years. Okay. Yes. Have you ever experienced anything like the GA? No. No, I have experienced some... Those days, I was naturally born with the gift of healing. Mm. So those days, I could pray for people to get their healings and whatever. But what I, the experience I had yesterday, I've never had it in my life. You've never experienced it? Never. I even need more. <laughs> need more. I've never heard it. I've never heard it. And everything I churn out is the truth. Mm. Let, let, if he's a man, let, let, let him take me to court. So what if he takes you to court? No, let him. I'll go and say what, exactly what I know. Because with me, I vowed never to talk about him. Right? I, because we are done with our works. So, we've done the spirit, so spiritual let, works. If he's a man, let him take and me to court. I'll take over the church. We've left, for, left him when for the energies. nobody. When he was nobody, Ankara was nobody. Mm. I was borrowing money from him, left, right, center. Pastor Pukis wife, Pastor Bill, left, right, center. He was nobody. Anytime I took him to any place, I was honored. Gave the, I was given a better seat than him. I was you, well. you said something that troubled me the other day. Like, um, you, he would tell you that if you send money down to build a house for you, you should keep a percentage. Yes, and only I, I visited with my wife. I was going to use the U.S. for the first time. I had had my visa. He doubted it. But he had gone for two, three times and he had been refused. Mm. So he was surprised I got a visa. So when I showed him, I said, are you sure it's genuine? Is it no fake? Mm. So 
out of the, uh, the Ferrari, he traveled and left me, thinking that I will not be able to raise money to travel. Mm. All right, so when I visited him, in the presence of my wife, he says, Egan, I know you know people. And everybody in the church knows I know people. Mm. Everybody to today know I know people. Mm. I know you know people. Mm. I know you get on with people. People will give you their money to build. When they give you the money to build, and you buy it, uh, uh, maybe uh, 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 500 blocks, you pocket 300 and use the 200. That my, wife was, my wife wept. My wife cried. That was, was, that was really confusing because I didn't understand that. Like, yeah, that was the truth. He told you that? Yes, even one day in, in his house, I was there with him. I was, I was so close to Ankara that I could enter into every, 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 every room of his. Mm. One day, one Reverend Labi, he's an old soldier. He's in the Kettinson Temple. He was, in, he was put into a life-saving machine. And one Mrs. Collinson called and said, Man of God, your friend has been put into a life-saving machine. So praise God. Tell him to come and settle every score with me before he dies. And I was like, so you can go to that extent that you haven't... Wait, he said that? Yes. He, he my prayer, I was there in his house. Mm. Not that I was there. In, you see, I was so close to Ankara. And mm. I, I'm saying nobody knows Ankara more than me. And nobody in this world knows Ankara more than me. So when he calls you now to settle issues, what would you do? No, I wouldn't. He should go. He has made me suffer. The pain I've gone through in life, he should just die. He should go and leave the ministry for me. I need that ministry that I started. Mm, but please don't say he should die because we... No, I'm not saying he should die, but mm -hmm. then he will die. Um, he will suffer for the punishment of his own sins and crimes. With that, I don't subscribe to it. We, yes. we, we, we speak life. Yes. We, have, we speak life. Yes. We speak wellness. Yes. We don't... That is why in yes. all the videos I did, yes. I didn't go the death yes. way. Yes. I don't really... When you sow a seed, what do you reap? You sow, you reap the seed you sow. Exactly. So the seed that he has sown is what he's going to reap. Ah, wait, do you think he's that evil? Like, I don't understand. I am because me, everything I said, I said it because the gods revealed it. Yes. That's the only reason why I said it. I am only telling you what I know. In reality. Mm, your tea is getting cold. In reality. Mm. He, I asked it where uh, 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 I was branded as an evil person because mm. I was just standing for the truth. Mm. At a point in time, when I left the church, and people I had taken to the church, including a rabbi, Ankara told them that when I visited them in their shop, they should throw urine on me. That was how bad. Wait, they should throw urine, urine on you? Urine on me. Urine. And they told me. Uh, this, this morning, something happened. I don't want to mention names. Right. There was a young Indian guy around. Right. And you you confirm that right. you know. I know him. him I know the whole family. The whole he family. confirmed that he also mm -hmm. knows you know mm -hmm. the whole family and all of that. Mm -hmm. So yes. he confirmed your story. Yes. Yes. My mother also confirmed your story. Yes. So then I know your story yes. is true. Yes, and that's the truth. I'm no. I, I, I'm wondering why I can lie about Ankara because what, what I want, what do I gain? I'm only speaking the truth. So that's what I, that's what I would say. You're a Reverend Minister, right? Yes, now you want to teach the truth. Which you said African science. Yes. Right? Yes. Or African spiritual science yes. or spiritual science. Yes. I would suggest yes. you just focus on that. Right. And that's exactly what I'm going Leave the works that has been done behind the scenes to go for whoever the works will go for. And I promise you on my life, it will happen. Right. <laughs> you understand? I mean. So we know who we are with. I mean. We know what we are doing. I mean. We know what we've done. We know what was done behind the scenes that we don't talk about. Amen. And I'm the type, I would never, people know me, I would never come for anybody Amen. except I see your seven injustice. Can you imagine you start a church, hand it over to somebody, and the person wants you dead? I mean, I mean I, it's unfathomable. It's unfathomable. You can't, I don't understand this. Hmm. I helped you. When we're exchanging letters, you are mm. not ready to be a, a reverend minister. Mm. You want to enter into business or politics. Mm. I encourage you, motivated you. You came from, you, even at a point in time, I told went to his house at Ankara. You've been giving people give you both things, cars, dresses. You have never given me, I've worked with you for over 25 years. You have never given me anything. Oh, so you're with him for that long? Oh, yes. 
for that long. I thought it was just a few years. No, no, and no, you no, left. no, 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 no. We were students together. I, I was with him for that long, over 25 years. Wow. Yes. Because he wanted to ask to undermine me and put me in a cloister. People who even came after we had gone on evangelism to win. He elevated them above me. But I wasn't bothered. I wasn't bothered because I wasn't doing the work for man. To me, I was doing it for God. On a scale of 0 to 10, where would you put them as pastors? 0%. 0%. And I can defend it anywhere. 0%. Because and there was no charismatic leader in Ghana that I don't know where he started from. 0%. Guys, listen, I've been saying this for a long time. Man, know thyself. Know who you are. We don't propagate anything against anybody. As a matter of fact, we, we are in our corner doing our little business. You know what? I, I, what I, I have seen this as an opportune time for me to expose. Is there anything else, else you want to see? There's so much I know. There's so much within me. I know about the cows, Master Church. Now, I know there are a lot you've told there me. There are a lot that I can't do even. There are a lot. Unless you bring somebody issues out, then I'll be able to ask it to address. Mm. There are a lot. And a lot, a lot of people churn out all kinds name of things. Name me one charismatic or Christian person that you think is genuine. Okay, let's do five. Yes. Five pastors that in Ghana that you think are genuine. The, the struggling churches. They are the genuine people. The struggling churches. They don't have much congregation. Not much, uh, what is it, uh, uh, finances. The struggling, the struggling churches. churches. The rest of them, forget about it. They are the genuine. They are the genuine pastors. So they are doing the work, the work genuinely. No, but I know I know some people who are genuine. Who? And they are doing well. Who? And I know some. I'm saying it's only the struggling churches. Because I know what I'm talking about. What do you want to do to fix this? That's what I want to know. I, I would have been happy if I could face it, but it's impossible because it's, they are a group of people. When you even, even start a church and they realize that you are a shining star, mm. they adopt you as their son. Somebody who has not invested a dime into your life. My son, my son. That's what they are. You go about my son, my son. So they kill your spirit. You submit under them. That's what they do these days. Mm. That's what they do these days. And I was in info. Mm. When I even left Royal House, Chris Dota wanted to work with me. And I said, I don't want it. Because I know what? Who? Who? Chris Dota. Mm. Chris Dota, the spiritual bulldozer. Mm. And I wasn't ready because I, any pastor that came to me, come and work with me, I said, no, I wasn't ready. Mm. I, put, I rejected everybody's offer. Mm. Because I re I'm the type who has been standing for the truth. I always want the, uh, the impoverished mm. and the poor to make it. So when I see people suffering, I cry. Mm. And these people didn't really bother about people suffering. They rather see it as a case. Mm. As a case. Meanwhile, they were uh, operating with their destinies. Mm. Case. Our own poor. Listen, I, I want to drop this conversation. Listen. You, as a man, you have to know yourself. As a man, you have to dig into yourself. And I don't want to drag any names. To me, it's not significant to me. I, I'm just humble. But at times, it is good for people to be aware. Yeah, yeah. Th that's why I do what I do. And oh. that's why I'm, I'm ruthless in what I do. Right? But at the same time, I want people to understand. I'm not coming for anybody. I don't, so, I don't care about you. You honestly. haven't come for... I came out myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I came. No, no, so I went for him the time yes. I did. Then I saw the video. And I've, I, we've done what we have to do. Yes. Case close to me. Everything he did, we knew he was going to do it. Even before we came out. There's not a single thing he did that we didn't know. You understand? So, uh, I want to say thank you for putting your, safe, your face out there. Because the videos are going to go. I am go. not bothered. Let them go. Viral. Already I've received over two, two, uh, 200 calls. And I'm not, I'm not responding to any of them. I don't mm. need it. In those days of difficulties, who called me? Mm. Now you are calling me to, for what? Mm. For what? Mm. People knew about this secret. Mm. They never turned out. They never came out. Calling me for what? To, to, say, to tell you what? When he came from Holland, he had practically nothing. I took him around. I would take him to Victory Bible Church, Central Gospel Church, Grace Outreach Church, uh, uh, Light of Life. I have said it this. I started by saying that if you have a congregation more than 500, you would have sacrificed a human being. And that has been my point. 
500 not only in Ghana, all over the world. Benihin, all over, all over the world. Wait, you including Benihin? Oh yes, Benihin. He himself came out to even confess what he had done. But then he came out at a point in time. Yeah, I saw that video yes. about the Titan or something. Yes, asking for money. Yeah. Yes, Clifford Dollar came out recently to say mm. condemn about Titan. The people should burn all his books. People use their monies, hard and money, to buy your books. Why don't you refund the money to them? You turn them to shell ban all your all your books on Titan. Mm. Hey, Jesus Christ. So all those days you were teaching about Titan. What which spirit was following you? Yeah, with us with those guys. Uh, Eddie Long slept with a lot of young young guys and he was exposed. Mm. T B Joshua couldn't utter a word when he was interviewed. What do you say about the Long? I have no comment. No comment. Mm. And all the friends around T B Joshua I know the Odulele. The Odulele was in prison in London mm. as a result of sleeping with the boy. Boys. Wow. I have made it clear to Ankara that me, I don't fear death. I've made it clear. No way. I, I think it's, it's those who are afraid of death. Yes. That the only will, one I, yes. I've that told the Ankara the I don't fear death. Kill me today. Somebody will no, rise up No, by killing, he should forget. Somebody <laughs> will rise up and speak the truth. He's not killing anybody. <laughs> he should forget. Kill oh, him. No, he doesn't even have power. He doesn't even have power. He's powerless. You see, no. You see, when, when I came out first with the conversation, a lot of people started talking to us. Who are you insulting me? Da, 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 da. I know those who right? came out. Wait. And then they went to do their investigation mm, and realized realize who I was. <laughs> they, they now went mute. I've been listening to Katim. After Captain Smart came after you. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He, he interviewed Ajanzari. Yeah. Uh, what do you know about Ankara? This man came out. He said, I, I, he, there was a response. Well, I know Ankara, but... It does anything he's been doing I behind his. I don't know. Mm. Yes, <laughs> he, he goes speak the truth. <laughs> people started with Anyways, raw power, guys. but they deviated. They started raw. Power. Why? Why didn't they maintain the raw power? They, they didn't maintain the raw, like raw power to be able to keep the members. There was something they call me born at Nasi, so that they won't leave the church. They have to do all kinds of sacrifices, killing of human beings and um, uh, the other one cows mm. they can even cut the stomach of a life pregnant woman pastors pa oh jesus christ of Nazareth. Jesus christ of but are you not destroying the church of god no you're a reverend no. minister no, what of i'm god. saying that um it is you who's doing it the rest of the congregation they don't know mm. and some of us who are privy to what you're doing mm. the rest don't know so they'll follow you they will even fight for against members mm. who are speaking ill of, Ill of you, they will sp fight. Mm. When in Ghana, when a pastor, so called prophet, I slept with her assistant pastor's wife, mm. impregnated her. The following Sunday, the whole church was full. The whole church was full. He came up boldly to say, Me and me are here. Slept with his assistant pastor's wife and impregnated her. The politicians are behind them, so what do you, what do, you do? I've been that daring since time, could you? Oh, oh. But the point mm. is, Boko? everybody who knows me knows that I always stand for the truth and I've been so bold. I'll yeah. say it. Even if you kill me, kill me. Guys, listen. Thank you always. I, I love you guys always. And we are always going to speak the truth, nothing else. Um, I will never come for you. So behave yourself. If you come, I'm coming. That one, listen, I'm not going to hide. Right. I'm not frowning away from it. I'm not shining. If you come, I am coming for you. Right. You see, sometimes when you're going for somebody, you should try and investigate who you're going after. Yes, yes. Huh? Once you know who you're going after, you can decide then if you want to pursue it. Or like, uh, it, it, there was a scripture in the Bible that says, should we go forward or should we oh, stay? Standards, um, oh, standards. Uh, should we attack? Should yeah. we recover? Mm. And, uh, was it David? David. David. Yeah, David. And, when his family was yeah. ransacked. Yeah. He said, yes. should we go? Should we recover or should we stay? Yes. You understand? So yeah. when, when you are going after somebody, Make sure you find out who you are going after. See, some of us are bottom, right? 
when we started going crazy, they called us crazy. Mm -hmm. And we were rejected by everybody. So we've gotten to a place where we don't care. You understand? Because once you are down, he who is down fears no fall. No fall. <laughs> you see, and, and what we are doing, oh, the, the battalions that are behind the scenes, you will run. So behave yourself. Yes. Stick to your lane. That's right. Do what is good. Right. Love life, That's right. love man, love, human love nature, love everybody, do what is right, stop the evil, and I'll leave you alone. But if somebody brings your name to me, I would first call you or send you a message or let you know your information is before me. This is what somebody is saying about me, about you. You understand? Let's talk as men. If you refuse to talk, I'm coming for you. You understand? I'm not a saint. That's right. Me, I don't hide everything right. I've ever done. Right. You Google my name. You will know everything I've ever done. That's right. When they came after me, I said it publicly. Right. When I was taking 40, 48 hours behind bars, mm -hmm. I was, because people went to lie on me that we were fake. With, my brother was here, who <laughs> was part. They lied that we are fake, we are this, we are that, we are still here. Mm -hmm. You understand? So we, there's nothing to hide. What I, I was telling Osofu and Sabuakwa, Yansa TV. I was awful. He came to me, heard a story. He came. I was awful. The only thing anybody can ever tell me is that he loves women. Yes. That's the only thing. Yes. So my question to you: Should I go and love dogs? I don't understand. Well, let me like, say this. What? Let, me, let me say this. When I heard your story, mm. the person I contacted was Osofu Yansabwa. Mm. I spoke with him. Mm. He promised he was going to give me your personal contact, mm. and he gave me and, uh, Mama and an uncle's yeah, yeah. contact. Mm. Then I contacted her. No, I mean, that's the only thing. Yes. You see, and they will say that not because they've come to see me lying on their sister's so It's simply because they assume. Mm -hmm. And me, if you are assuming something, we think I have the time to come and dispute it. Continue assuming. I love women. I love my mother. I love my sisters. I love all the women in the community. I'm polygamous. What else do you want to hear? You understand? Now, so, I also believe in polygamy. No. <laughs> now. Mm -hmm. Yes, now. I, hey, I don't want yeah, you to backslide. <laughs> nobody, nobody said it. I came out and said, I don't I want you to backslide. In poly poly backslide. Mm -hmm. Do you Listen. know the numerous girlfriends they have? I love you guys. Our ampo. <laughs> Our ampo. Listen, I love you guys. Um, let's not neglect who we are. Let's not neglect the ways of our fathers. Okay. Is the way of life. When Reverend Minister came, we are in, we are in nature. Mm -hmm. We enjoy everything we do. We enjoy nature, natural things, the natural things. We will give you all the natural herbs, all the natural rituals, all the natural things that you must do. We will let you sleep on the floor, marry the yet. Mm -hmm. We will let you walk barefooted. Be in love with nature. Once you're done, you become a human being. Yes, Once you're a human being, you are not afraid I'm, of I'm anybody. Not really human. You now feel human. Oh, mm. not human. <laughs> but the GAA, what do you no, think about the GAA? Well, the GAA experience was that awesome and powerful. I've never had it in my life. Would you recommend anybody to have it? Thousands and millions of people. <laughs> Are you coming on the 30th? 30th. I'm even bringing people from South Africa. You, and, and you'll be part of the praise and worship. I'll you you lead praise. I heard you're a powerful praise and worship. I was a, uh, there was no praise and worship leader in Ghana. Who could match me? So, should we put the challenge to you? You are leading problem. praise and worship I don't have a on 30th. I don't have a problem. During the all night. You can ask Susan, your mother. Yes. Ah, yes. okay. I could lead praise. Guys, yeah. praise and, and worship. People will carry me mm. on the pulpit. Carry me. Come and show. Ima, let's get the instrument. Come and show your powers. Our Come. Our Rampo. Come and show your powers. Thank you for coming through. Thank you, sir. Thank you for being a part of uh, our conversation today. This is not planned. Right. Listen, and even the time, you see, I'm not a, I'm not a wicked person. I don't, I don't do evil, because when you were in, we could have filmed, and you wouldn't have said no. Yes. But I looked at it and I was like, no, let's wait. And me myself, I said I was ready to speak yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. You said you're ready to speak. Only the truth. And I will show a bit of when you're saying Ara I'm not worried. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow morning, we show our our, our, ample. Ample. Mm. our ample. Mm. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Have a great time. I'll see you on the 30th okay. of March. It's starting at 8 p.m., I think. All right. 8 p.m. Okay. Don't miss it. It's just going to be one night. 
you're going to see a kind of prophecy okay. or prophetic or word of knowledge or uh, revelation that you've mean. never seen. You've got, you're going to experience something. Okay. We are cooking something behind the scenes. Right. And for the first time, nobody has done it. Right. And I know after us, people will start doing it. And it's good. People have to do it because we will set the pace and they will come after us. It's good. But we want to teach people what it means to have the oracle of God, the mouthpiece of God, and how to use the oracle of God. We, we, we are teaching you for free. After, after the experience, you go and practice it, okay? Have a great time. I love you. See you in the next video.